Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. Today I'll be showing you my new invention called EPOM Top. As you can see here, this is a full-blown computer the size of uh, my, my palm, really. And you know my palm is quite small. Now the cool thing about this is it, it is a full-blown Windows computer. This is a quad-core system, uh, 2 gig RAM uh, memory, and it has a built-in, I think, 32 or 64 uh, gig memory and you can put an, a micro SD card which can bring it up to 128 gigabyte of data. Now you can even hook up a um, the external uh, portable hard drive that is a like 2 terabytes. So you can see the application for this. Because it's the uh, full version of Windows 8 or Windows 10 and you can even use Windows 7 as well onto the system, you can pretty much run any application. Of course you know, I wouldn't run like a heavy intensive graphic games on this thing, but in terms of uh, Microsoft um, Office, this will do just fine. And the cool thing about this is because it has a built-in 5-inch uh, screen, you can carry this around anywhere you want. And because it's a real computer, you can hook up any type of printer that runs Microsoft uh, uh, Windows application. So it's a standard uh, Microsoft uh, Windows computer. So whether you want to hook up any devices like your webcam, your uh, microphone, you know those very high quality. Let me show you. If I want to run this um, uh, oops, if I can, high quality, there we go, high, high quality mic, I could do that, right? Whatever you want, you put on this system like you would do with ordinary computer, you could do with that. And the cool thing about this um, Palm Top or EPOM Top computer that I built is that this is the world first ever built Palm Top computer that it runs and charge wirelessly. Let me show you. Okay, so you put a charging pad on to it and there we go you can hear the sound let me redo that again let me show you this is a wireless charging palm top the world first wireless charging palm top here is the transmitter and here's the receiver end two of them i just placed the uh, wireless transmitter onto this and it will charge my system see you can hear that sound that means it's charging there we go Okay, and you can see there is the white light here and the other side as well, there's another white light there indicating that it is charging and you can see the light now on this side here, right? It's, uh, the battery is draining a little bit so it's charging right now whereas on this side, it's fully charged. So, the world first palm top computer that's wireless charging and I built this under half a day. So, about four or five hours took me to build this system and it's quite amazing you can build one yourself obviously the component you need of course is the uh, PC stick and the wireless charging unit the lithium battery about five of them 3.7 uh, volt uh, almost 2000 milliamp hour though you're looking at about almost 10,000 milliamp hour per system now I divide into basically two power system one that powers the um, the screen and one that's powering the PC stick. This computer is really fle fle flexible and the reason for that is because it's a full-blown computer and because it has a um, two USB slot I can put a standard keyboard, I can put a Bluetooth keyboard, I could put a webcam, I could put external hard drive, I can put DVD player, whatever you think of with a normal Windows laptop or netbook this thing can do it. So, I'll show you more in the future on what the capabilities of this system. Remember, it's a quad-core system, so it is quite powerful. And look at the size of this. Now, what I'm going to use this for, the reason I built this Palm Top computer, the ePalm Top, is because, you know, I was trying to put all my images and videos from my camera to a hard drive, an external hard drive, because, you know, it, it runs out very easily if you're uh, recording in 4K or 1080p um, videos. So I'm thinking like I have a uh, 2 terabyte or 4 terabyte hard drive. 
I want to be able to, on a go, like when I'm traveling, to be able to put those images and videos onto a hard drive. Well, I looked into um, Android, I looked into Apple's, uh, you know, iPhone and all that because it's portable. I, I like portability, right? Very small. And drag into that system, but I find it very inconvenient because, first of all, Apple computer does not have a built-in SD or micro SD card, so you can't really do it, right? You would have to um, somehow put it into the smartphone first, then drag it into the hard drive. Same thing with Android. It doesn't. I don't. Th I can't think of a can uh, smartphone right now that has a uh, external uh, micro SD slot where you can just put the uh, the the um, the SD card in there and then drag it into uh, the hard drive, right? So I'm thinking the only thing that could do it is Windows, and uh, you know, Netbook is pretty good, but Netbook is still big. I want something the size of a smartphone or at least the size of my palm here. So there we go. This is it. So how this is gonna work for me is that I'm gonna hook up my uh, external hard drive uh, to one of the USB uh, connection, and it will read out the uh, micro, the uh, the uh, external hard drive, two terabyte external hard drive, and then I have a slot, the micro SD slot right here. I don't know, there we go. There this one, and I will put that from the camera right. Once you take a picture, of, you, then you take that uh, micro SD into this and then it will drag and I'll drag that image and video into the hard drive it is much much faster more efficient than you know copying into your smartphone um, and then copying into your hard drive right it's slow whereas you know the, mic the Windows operating system allows you to do that very fast so what happened is you take that micro SD put it into this uh, PC stick and then um, drag it into the hard drive and you're done and so that's why I built this. Okay, as you can see here is the Bluetooth keyboard. It allows me to move the cursor around. As you can see here, the cursor is moving around. All right. This is the no, uh, mouse pad. And there's a left and right button right here. Okay, so this is a RII, the i2 Mini i8 Bluetooth keyboard. Very comfortable. Allows me to navigate quite well. And then you have, of course, you have the um, UMPC system that you can do it yourself, the 5 inch screen, the battery pack system that I built myself, it's a 9200 milliamp hour and so in theory it should last at least 5 to 6 hours continuous use and it's powering the screen, the 5 inch screen as you can see here, right, and the PC stick which is called the Mego, Mego 2, okay, now you don't have to use this one, you can also use um, the uh, the Novo Stick PC Stick 300. This is Windows 10, but I haven't tried this one yet. I'm just going to work on the Windows 8 right now. So very portable, as you can see here. I'm holding in my hand now. Of course, I'm going to mod it a bit further because this is just version point zero point one. I want it to go up to one point zero by making a nice case for this one, so it's going to be portable on the hand like this, right? And everything is all in a little kind of container and then hopefully I can integrate the keyboard I can flip like this right With the keyboard like that that would be awesome window 8 or window 10 and the palm of your hand this is a quad core 2 uh, gigabyte RAM and uh, yeah and lasts for you know 5 to 6 hours of battery oh wow can you imagine back in those days you UMPC would cost like three thousand dollars and it only have one gig RAM and uh, it only lasts, the battery only lasts for about up to three hours. This thing is double that. And uh, it's the, the quad core processor too. And even have a built in memory that you could um, put in there. You can put up to 128 gigabyte of memory into this um, PC stick. But you can see it's very portable. Do it yourself, UMPC. Okay, the world first. Anyway, I'll show you more of application in the future regarding this uh, uh, EPOM top computer that I invented. Um, but keep watching. Thanks for watching. EducateTube.com. Cool stuff.